Hello YouTube, it's Shane here. This video is part of a multi-part series I'm doing on how to build your own home automation controller. So if you haven't started already from the top, I would suggest you click the link in the description or the annotation right now on the screen to go to that playlist and work your way down as some of the things I do in this video may not work unless you've completed prior steps. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be installing MySQL as our database and uh, PHP MyAdmin. Um, this allows us to edit and make changes and monitor the database. So let's go right ahead. Um, I've logged into my Pi via SSH already. So what I'm gonna do is go sudo apt-get install um, mysql-server hit enter and boom it's going to go and it's going to ask you, you want to install and you say yes boom okay so this is very important it's going to ask you for a mysql root user password this is definitely going to be something you want to think about it needs to be something really secure i would suggest using something like lastpass or some uh, password manager to generate really really complex good nice safe passwords for this so okay so i'm going to enter my password that i know is super safe and very hard to beat and crack and stuff. So let's do that, you do it once. It's gonna ask you to do it again. And then there we go. And it's gonna go and continue to install. Okay, there it is done. So now let's install PHP my admin. So to do that, we're gonna go sudo apt-get install ph php my admin and it's going to ask you for to install you say yes okay so it's going to ask you what server you want to automatically configure it with and so we've reinstalled lightpad so let's install it on that server right there click okay by hitting you basically select by hitting spacebar and you move up and down the arrow keys and then you hit tab to move across. So I said okay, and it's gonna go and install. Okay, so now it's gonna ask you if you want to configure the database. You're gonna say yes, and then it's gonna ask you for your administrator password. And so earlier, when you created that password, you need to put that in there now. Done, and then it's gonna ask you for the password that you wanna generate. So I, um, would just use the same one that I used for the database. Let's put it in again, and then you put it in again. And boom, it's done. Well, now it's gonna go and install, continue installing, but that part was done. Okay, so you're gonna, gonna open a, a new, well, open a web browser and type in the IP address of your Pi, forward slash PHP my admin, Hit enter and boom, there it is. And so now the username is going to be root and the password is that password that you generated earlier. So hit enter and boom. I don't ever want you to save uh, for this domain. There we go, so now you're logged in. Um, you can see your databases. So what we wanna do, um, is to make this a secure install, just to tighten up security a little bit, we're gonna do run a few commands and they're gonna go like this, sudo my sql install db, like that. So mysql underscore install underscore db, hit enter. It just runs a little script. And then we're actually gonna wanna run this, which is, um, the uh, user bin mysql underscore secure underscore installation. And so just go in there into sudo and paste that in there, hit enter. It's gonna ask you for your root password, which is that secret password you used earlier. So let's type that in. It's gonna say, do you wanna change the root password? We're gonna say no, because we generated something super secure. And you wanna say remote, remove anonymous users, yes. Disable, disallow remote login, yes. Remove test database and access to it, yes. Reload privilege tables, yes. And that's it. So now your, insula your installation is more secure. 
And that's the end of this tutorial.